let's see if we can find... Oh, hello Neil, how are we doing? Uh, very well, thank you Chris. What are you hoping to get out of today's Isla conference? as well as actually attending the conference ourselves and finding out the wealth of information that's given by Property Mark, we're here to talk to our existing customers, new customers, people in the industry and let them know the best way that they can handle their client money in an ever-changing environment. What do you think are the biggest challenges for letting agents in 2019? Uh, it's all going to revolve around money. I mean, let's not get away from the fact the Tenant Fees Act, where the guidance came out yesterday, is the biggest game changer for over a decade. It is going to be a play about how people step up and answer it, whether they decide to coast or answer the problem in the way that we actually operate. Why do you think an awful lot of letting agents have put their head in the sand about the tenant fee ban? I mean, I, I, it was only a few weeks ago people were saying, well, when it comes in or if it will come in. And we've still got that. And I think what we're looking at is, let's look at what's come out before. We've got the Consumer Credit Act, which had the displacements of fees, which is now to be more prominent. Who's got prosecuted? what's been done. We've then had the redress scheme. It takes two years for an agent to get found and kicked out. We had the guy who stole two years ago 350000 and ended up being penalised a pound. Stories like that, unfortunately, enforcement doesn't paint a good picture within our industry. So people are looking at the tenant fee ban, this is another piece of legislation, and what? And unfortunately there will be people who adopt, not the people here, but there are people within the industry in general and that's the view that they will adopt. So do you think, what are the opportunities for letting agents from the tenant fee ban? So it's about changing your relationship, looking at what we actually provide. Let's make this a professional sector, which is what it should have always been. We are downtrodden because we operate in a certain way. Let's raise, take this as an opportunity, not as a, a negative. And that's the biggest thing we can take for 2019. Thanks, Neil. That was uh, Chief Operating Officer for Payprop, which, quite frankly, is one of my very favourite, favourite prop techs. I'm not even being paid to say that either. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you very much, Chris.